The Honourable Member from Charlottetown, Victoria Park. Mr. Speaker, as has been mentioned before, this week is Tra Transgender Awareness Week. The past few years have seen some movement in the trans community in terms of visibility, from TV screens to election ballots to classrooms to health care. Health care is a pathway for trans people to actually feel safer in our community. Imagine for a moment you are a trans woman. You look in the mirror every day and see a thick jawline, laryngeal prominence. You see features that don't represent who you are. You see a man, but you are a woman. Imagine what that does to your mental health, to your sense of self. Imagine what that does to your feelings of safety as you make your way through the day out in the community. Here in PEI, we support more invasive surgeries for individuals as they transition, which is great and necessary. We are hearing what members of the trans community are looking for in terms of visibility and awareness. And we, when we do not offer less invasive procedures, it shows our limited understanding of what it means to be trans and points, out, points us to a lot more work that needs to be done. Facial feminization surgery encompasses a broad range of procedures to change the, the shape of the face to look more feminine. Testosterone, testosterone cannot be reversed, and so these less invasive surgeries do so much and are things that the trans community have been calling for. It is something that the World Professional Association of Transgender Health is calling for. It is something our caucus has been calling for, to which the Department of Health and Wellness responded they would look into. I hope government has looked into it and that they will action it. Visibility and awareness are two of the most powerful tools in terms of challenging transphobia, nurturing diversity, and building community. While we have certainly made some progress, we have a long way to go to ensure that everyone, everyone in our community enjoys the luxury of being accepted and feeling safe in our community. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.